Is your ClickFunnels order bump not working? Well, I know how you feel because it took me hours to figure out how to do this and now I'm gonna save you that time and we're getting started right now. Hey, Thomas Garrett's here. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm gonna hop right into my computer on this one. But before we get started, if you're new here, what we do on this channel is everything ClickFunnels, affiliate marketing, and then I like to show some tutorials and tips on the tools I use in my online business to help you grow your online business. And if that's the kind of content you like, go down below, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload. All right, so now, I'm just gonna hop right into my computer like I said and if you found this video I'm gonna assume you know what an order bump is and kind of like how to make one but if you have any questions about how to actually do that go down below comment let me know so I'm just gonna use an example on one of my funnels that I'm creating so again if you're confused at any point let me know in the comments I can help you out so if the problem you're having is that it's not dynamically updating when you're pressing the order bump I'm gonna tell you why Okay, so the problem is, look, I'll show you. So on my elements, I have one hidden. Okay, where is it? So I have the product select hidden because you have to have this to have your main product selected. Okay, but when you hide it, it will automatically be selected. But then what you do is you click here and then you add an order summary. Okay, so that's what you do. And then I changed it to say your items and then amount with a capital A. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this one and then show you the difference. Okay, so we're gonna keep this on here just so you can see real quick and then I'll go back to hiding it and I'll show you because that's the hack. All right, so I'll preview it. So it's automatically selected with your main product, right? So then we click this, it won't get updated on, the, on this because that's, it's an order select, okay? But on the order summary, it's gonna show both of them. Okay, so this is very important because a lot of people, they're gonna be clicking this and if something's not showing up up here, they're gonna think either they, they want it and that it's not working or they don't want it and they don't know that they clicked it and then you're gonna get more chargebacks. It's just not good, okay? So you always wanna have it like this, but you don't wanna have both of these. So there's an issue, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go right to settings and then you go down here and you go to the little eyeball and you just hide it, okay? So we'll save it again, okay? And then we'll refresh this page. So now look, it's still there because it's still auto-selected, it's just hidden, and then look. So now it shows up there. So if that's the issue you're having, that's, you're good. That's what you have to do. This is very, very important. But now, if you're new and you wanna learn a little bit more about order bumps or you don't know how to put the product in there, I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So we're just gonna make a brand new funnel just because I don't wanna keep messing with mine. So we're gonna go back real quick and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're just gonna make a new step. That's what we'll do, so order. So we're just gonna choose the skinny order one and you have to have an actual order form to add products. So you can see right here on the opt-in page, you can't add products, okay? But on this one, you can. Okay, so we're gonna go to products, and then add a product. So this is gonna be your main product. Test, $7 we'll call it. And then you don't wanna check this. This isn't for your order bump, this is your main product. So you'd always wanna make a product description. That's for the credit card for people who order, but I don't need to do that right now. And then we'll add another product, and then we'll call this test bump, so then We'll call this $17 and then you click this button, okay? So that's so, should this product be the bump on the order page if present? So yes, so create product and then we're gonna actually edit this page. So remember what I was saying about how you have to keep this, but we don't want it to show, okay? So if you're confused about how to do this still, we go here, we add order summary, okay? And then we're gonna hide this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an actual order bump, okay? and you can customize all this stuff. If you're confused about how to use ClickFunnels, I'll link up above. I got a complete ClickFunnels tutorial you can check out on the subject. So anyways, so I'm not gonna show you how to actually customize it. I'm pretty sure you probably understand by now, but I'm just gonna show you this last example so you can see from start to finish how to actually do it. So I'm gonna hit save, and then I'm not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna preview this. So now you can see the main product is there because we have the selector just hidden. Okay, so you can't just delete that, 
otherwise then your main product's not going to show up here okay so remember that that's the most important part and i'm sure this is the problem that most of you are having because it's the problem a lot of people have and they just don't realize it right so anyways so then what you're going to do is you're going to hit that and that actually updates it and this is going to give you way less people complaining about oh i didn't see it because they can see it dynamically update right away, right? So this is very, very important, okay? So once again, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this content and you wanna keep learning about how to grow your business online, watch this video here and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be on your way. All right, that's all I got. Till next time.